Ali Wong? You gotta get on Allie, the show. You're, you claim to be into food. Get on the f burger you gotta show. Gotta get on the burger show. From voicing many of the angst ridden characters from his hit animated series, Big Mouth, to his upcoming stand up tour, Middle Aged Boy, Nick Kroll is a chameleon in the world of comedy. But he can blend into foodie circles too, thanks to his VIP Chef Connects and his niche culinary references. So to celebrate Nick's comedic genius, I'm making a custom burger tasting menu just for him, featuring a hormone-fueled behemoth, a Jewish deli spin-off, and the ultimate foodie fantasy. Nick Kroll! Welcome to the show, bro. Thanks, man. Welcome. You're on fire right now. Obviously, I'm here to promote everything constantly. Right. But I really just want to eat these fucking burgers, man. So then, perfect. You're in store because I've kind of created like a burger tasting menu for you. All of this based on your success, based on things in your career. Right. Think of it as burger omakase. You know what that means, right? Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're a true foodie. I am a... Uh, Capital F. Yes. I, uh, I do like to eat good food. I like to eat good food prepared by chefs that I trust. Um, and this is a real trust fall for me. What is your favorite style of burger? I don't love too many things on my burgers. Yeah, purists. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Keep so, it simple, keep yeah. it, yeah. I mean, we, we might stretch those I love, a little I'm, bit. I'm here to stretch my, I'm, my burger boundaries. Burger number one, mm -hmm. you've got some exciting news. Mm -hmm. Big Mouth is back for another season. Yes. And uh, this burger is gonna be influenced by that show. That's all I've ever wanted. Adolescence is about feeding your impulses. Mm -hmm. This burger is basically channeling in 13 year old Alvin. So your, horm your hormone food monster? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> We're gonna go with these two patties right here. Gorgeous. I got this gigantic spatula in this dowel right here. Whoa. Oh, this is straight up porn to me. <laughs> We're gonna season this guy. Mm, that's black pepper, that's not dried up duties, right? Exactly. Okay, great. Throwing on the buns here. And that's a up. that's a sesame bun, not a tissue covered in No, uh, this is sesame. a sesame seed bun. Okay. Big Mario roll, classic New York style. Great. This is a bacon patty that we made, it's just ground up bacon. It's all of my bodily functions amassed into one sort of yeah, puberty pretty, burger. Yeah, pretty much. I love Big Mouth. All the characters are amazing. There's a ton of them. The Hormone Monster, that's gotta be like your favorite one, right? So like right now, if Maury were here, he'd be like, grill that fucking burger and give it to me. <laughs> that cheese is melting so pretty. I wanna shove that fucking burger in my mouth. <laughs> But then there's Rick the Hormone Monster, who's just like, <laughs> I'm <laughs> This is Russian dressing. Uh -huh. And then we got the double patty. The double dub? Oh, you're not skimping on that bacon. No, this is that impulse. Is... This is urges. Yes. This is what I call ranch blasted fries. Okay, you're giving those fries a facial. And to top it off, yeah. For some reason, adolescent Alvin loved, you know, spicy food. Whoa. So we're gonna throw on some banana chilies. There it is. There it is. I don't think I have to explain why it's called the Big Mouth Burger. Can I give you a nice transition? And Alvin, I can't wait to wrap my big fucking mouth around this burger. <laughs> God damn it, that's so good. How much of your Real mm. life experiences influence Big Mouth. I mean, a ton of my life is in Big Mouth. Like me getting pantsed when I was 13 in front of my childhood crush, uh, and she saw my bald little cashew. <laughs> Everyone in involved in the show are all people that I've been friends with for a number of years. And uh, Ali Wong is on the show. She's, nice. She's gonna play a pansexual. Has she done this show? No. Ali Wong. You gotta get her Allie, on the show. You're you claim to be into food. Get on the fucking burger you gotta show. Get on the burger show. Okay. Burger number two? Yeah. Jewish deli burger. You know, we've talked about Russ and Daughters. Mm -hmm. I'm into like the Jewish deli thing. You grew up upstate. So you must be a connoisseur of like I, a Jewish deli. I do culture. like I do like me some Jewish deli. Um it's funny because LA actually has a lot of good Jewish delis, so much so that I m made a song about it called LA Deli. Yes. LA Deli! Bubble strum is piling high. Pastrami or corned beef? I'm a pastrami guy more than a corned beef guy. 
right? Yes, pastrami for me is the undisputed king of, of Jewish deli meats. Yes. I think, it's, I like, agree. it's like beef bacon. I wanna change my name to beef bacon. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's get started. Great. I'm throwing this on, on here, mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah, then we got like the cutest rye bread in the world. This is pastrami from Katz's, the great Katz's. Shout out to Katz's Deli. Which brings me to my first question. While we why, are, this, why are the guys who cook Jewish deli at Katz's is all Dominican? <laughs> Close, <laughs> but you're, you're bi-coastal. Sure. Right? Yeah. Langer's or Katz's? Katz's. Boom! So let's build this guy. Let's do it. Got the rye bread. Uh-huh. And we're gonna do a little schmear of thousand. Mm -hmm. Or Russian dressing, sure. whatever you wanna call it. Sure, pogrom sauce. Sauerkraut. Oh. The pastrami here. <laughs> You're not skimping on the strami. No, you can't. Holy smokes. This is like a Reuben, sub the corned beef, pastrami piled high, burger, calling it the Jewish deli burger. Fuck. That's, that's it. Oh man. Please. Oh, if you could shrink me down to take like a tiny shower in the bottom of this. Fuck. This like Dude. burger grease shower. What are we thinking? Fuck man, that's good. I feel like a little bit like taking a bite and then making my comment like I'm Guy Fieri, but I'll do it as like Jewish Guy Fieri. Okay. Wow, that's good. <laughs> a little donkey sauce and this thing's ready to go. <laughs> so before we get on to the next one, I have something special for you. Okay. You ready for this? Yeah, man. It's called Jeopardy. That's Jeopardy for Jews? Yes. Test how well you know your roots. Great. All right, category number one. Guess the goy. I'm gonna read some celebrity names. Which one is the goy, AKA not Jewish? Great. A, Lenny Kravitz. Uh-huh. B, Pink. Uh-huh. C, Jason Biggs. Uh-huh. And D, Jenny Slate. Uh, Jason Biggs is the non-Jew. Correct. Fucking do this all day. Lenny Kravitz, the most Jewish he name in the game. He always plays a Jewish person, though. Jason Biggs? Yeah. I know, It's he's taking jobs away. <laughs> ready for category number two. I'm so ready. It's called Ahoy Yada Yiddish. Uh-huh. Ding, 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 ding. Daily Double. Uh -huh. We have a special video. Okay. Just for you. Okay, great. Nick Kroll, it's me, Rabbi Michael Paley, the family rabbi. And mazel tov for being on The Burger Show. Okay. You have known your family for a long time, and I know that they're in the security business, and you, because you're a comedian, in the insecurity business. Oh, very fun. Always good to use what you have. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen you since the big party some time ago, but I want to know how much you retained from Hebrew school, so I have a question for you. Right. Think about Yiddish words and see if you can spot the fake one. Okay. Bonus points if you know what each of them means. The first one, mishpacha. It's family. The second one, platkemacher. Platkemacher? I don't know. The third one, brechel. Uh-huh. And the fourth one, altakaka. Okay. Good luck, mazel tov. There it is. You know that guy. I do know that guy. He's like, he's dear friends with my parents. Okay. Rabbis are real performers. Like rabbis are just like comedians who like wouldn't go to open mics. Uh, so it's like you go one way if you're like a Jew wants to perform, either you become a comedian or you go become a rabbi. Wow, it's either or. It's like Filipinos being a nurse or an accountant. Exactly. Understood. Yeah. You nailed the first one. So yeah, Mishpucha is family. And That's Brechel, correct. I don't know what it is. And I believe Plotkemacher is the fake one. Okay. You narrowed it down to the right two. Yeah, you're, but I was wrong in the end. Wrong. I know. Yeah, plaka macher means gossiper. Uh huh. And brechel is the it's made fake. up word. Fuck. You're kind of you're kind of Jewish. I'm a, yeah, yeah. I'm kind of you're Jewish. Jewish ish. I'm Jewish ish. Third burger. This is what I call the 2019 foodie burger. Mm. Gone away are the days of stupid shit on burgers. Mm -hmm. No more caviar, no more truffle. Mm -hmm. Now it's all about dry-aged beef. Mm -hmm. You know, no douchey brioche. It's about the perfect seeded bun. Mm -hmm. It's about ratios. I see what you're pitching, and I'm way on board. Yeah, dry-aged beef is where it's at. You mm -hmm. gotta use... You gotta salt it up. You gotta use a ton of salt. Yeah. This is one... And I'm that's being... not old man dandruff. No, this is not old man dandruff. Ooh, you've... Oh. Ooh, but there's a tender touch that you get that Oh way. yeah, you have to, you gotta like, here, go ahead, feel it. <laughs> a bad little burger. 
See that sear? Ooh. It's beautiful. Mm. That's a cheddar. Sharp cheddar. That's it's short. aged. That's a short cheddar. Okay. Foodies want that next level. They want that next level. They want a classy cheddar. They want a, a cheddar, a, like something pungent. Uh-huh. Something like that has great mouth feel. Sure, these are all foodie terms. Foodie terms. Yeah. <laughs> kind of a green bowl, but with no greens, please. Exactly. It's sizzling just right. You feel that bun. Yeah, the buns have to be perfect. This is our own special bun that we have here. Really? At the usual. Arguably one of the best burgers in town. That's what I've heard. I think it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll put on our special sauce. Mm -hmm. You know what I think can suck a dick on a burger? A slice of tomato. If it's not tomato season, yeah. what the fuck are you doing putting a tomato on a burger? I couldn't agree more. It's like, Kidding. oh, I want like a cold, slippery, mealy, non-entity on my burger. Yeah, what the fuck is that? Here it is. This mm. is 2019 dry-aged beef, mm. foodie burger galore. And now I'm going to fuck it. This is real food porn. This is what foodies fucking do now. This right? is it. This is the next stage in foodie. Is you can't just eat the food. You gotta make love to it. Yeah, give it a love. Oh, oh, let it know it's bad. Oh fuck, baby. Oh, and shit's just mm. gushing. This burger's a gusher. That's it, man. Like that's that's what I got for you. Okay. Which one did you like the best? That first burger evokes adolescence and childhood. That second burger brings me back to my Jewish roots. And this third bam, burger bam. speaks to who I am now. I'm about uh, quality ingredients. And I like to, you know, I'm, I'm trying to fuck burgers. So this felt like the easiest yeah. one to fuck. You know, you know what that sounds like? Uh, sounds like I nailed it. It sounds like you nailed it. Yeah. I'm glad we got to do this. Me too. Thank you. Good luck on the new season. Good luck on the fucking comedy tour. Yeah. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Thanks for having me. What's up, everybody? It's Alvin Kyle of The Burger Show. Make sure you turn on your notifications, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, and thank you for watching.